Okay, then this video is actually going to be not about the, like, of what I was going to talk about, the topic, no, I think, like, most people are so big that nowadays, that'll be next week, because I forgot about what tomorrow is, this video is, like, kind of more important right now. Because this is about Eminem, because tomorrow it's his birthday, and he's only been around for the still lab, so I just want to make the city for him. And basically, we're listening since the very beginning release of 2002 of the Eminem show. That year I bought the CD. Well, first I burned it from a friend, and I played it over and over, and it's so scratched up. I listened to it so much, and it's still my favorite Eminem CD. Well, number one favorite, because I have a lot of it. I like my favorite song, Pidge is Bam, featuring Marilyn Manson, and Marshall Mathers, the part where this is insane clown posse, and uh, the D12 fight music is rapping that. And yes, I'm watching a lot of Eminem DVDs and listening to all the music on Monday and doing anything that's not Eminem related. And watching Eight Mile. I have three of his DVDs. I have a D12 DVD piece on it. But I have like both the D12 CDs and all Eminem CDs. I even have Infinite and some Shady EP, like burned copies in all the songs on my iPod. I have a lot of other, at least 50 other Eminem songs on my iPod. And about 30 D12 songs on my iPod. Um, and I really, really wish that D12 was still together. Because Eminem, Eminem was just so great in them, especially with Proof. I wish that he, Proof was still alive, because E12 would probably still be together then. And I know it's not until tomorrow, but I just hope Eminem has a great birthday. And he's going to be like, what, 38, I think? Close to 40 already. Um, yeah, and he started rapping back, like, professionally bad records underground with see infinite like he did that like 95 and when he was like 21 I think yeah um, it's like crazy so yeah I have everything in him except I don't have um, Bad Meets Evil or The Re-Up, I listen to a lot of songs from both. I'm just waiting as I went into this compilation to use on much for other people because of those other rappers I don't like rap with and usually like all those songs so I'll buy them eventually probably the CDs and really cheap on them but right now I just have from Infinite some shady EP, some shady LP all the way through Recovery and of course, a few of his DVDs, one of his books, and the 12 CDs and DVD. And I just really can't say enough how I think he's amazing. Like, I don't listen to Dr. Dre's music at all, but I've tried to listen to some of his other fan. But I think he was great for signing Eminem. Even though Eminem probably would have gotten someone else then, but probably wouldn't have happened as fast. It wasn't for Dr. Dre, and then also Big Proof from D12, helping Eminem get into all these rap battles and turn on the radio back in 95. And even before that, probably the rap battles, but just like for both of them, especially for Proof and Eminem being a D12 together for Proof putting me D12 because Proof started D12. And I just really wish that Proof was still alive to be able to still be collaborating with Eminem. And just really hope Eminem has a great birthday because I'm one of his biggest fans. And he's amazing. 8 Miles, one of the best movies ever. And he's really hot. He's still hot. And I'm glad he stopped doing drugs. And I love that he collaborated with Marilyn Manson. Basically, hope he has a great birthday.